Hi, Dan Peterson here with Peterson Partners team in Berkshire Hathaway. I am here with Rob Kiley of Armstrong Relocation, who's actually in the middle of helping one of our clients pack up and move. Rob, do you have any tips on how to choose a reputable moving company? Yeah, absolutely, Dan. Um, I would always say there's kind of there's do's and don'ts when it comes when it comes to finding a reputable mover. Um, the first thing is, you know, you do want to go out onto the internet and kind of get a sense of who is out there. Um, but you do always want to avoid uh, just putting all your personal information out there onto some you know random websites where there's a lot of times they they'll give you a ballpark quote or something like that. But what they're doing is they're taking your information and then they're um, selling it onto other people. And then what's happening is you're getting 20 phone calls from brokers. And uh, you know you don't want to deal with a broker because if you deal with a broker, you're not dealing with a moving company. So that's the first thing is kind of a pitfall there. I would always suggest talking to um, you know friends and family members, people who have moved before, and find out who they've moved with. Have they you know did they have a good moving experience? It's always a good idea as well if you're moving out of state to find and make sure that the company you're considering has a presence where you're going to. Um, you know, we're with United Van Lines, we're the largest com com uh, moving company in the country, so we have people in all the major cities and a lot of the minor cities as well, so it's always good to know that you're going to have some support on the back end. Um, the next thing I would do is make sure that they are going to come to your home to give you a quote. Um, you will find a lot of horror stories out there about moving companies. Um, you know, they showed up and then they took my stuff. And then they said it's another, you know, ten thousand dollars or whatever. If somebody comes to your home, they can put their eyes on everything, and then there's no question marks. Um, we have an ability now to do a thing called a virtual survey, which is kind of like a like a Skype or a FaceTime call, and you would actually just sit down, you know, computer to phone, talking to a person, uh, talking to a representative from the company, and then you would actually guide them through your home with your phone, using it as a camera. As long as a representative puts eyes on everything that's moving, uh, they can give you the next important thing, which is a binding estimate. So you want to make sure that they're putting a ceiling on the price, that there's no uh, question marks about potential costs or anything like that on the back end. Um, I hate having to say this, but read everybody's fine print very carefully um, because you may find things in there that you weren't told about when you were sitting down at the kitchen table with, with the uh, representative. So make sure you know what you're going into. Never sign a blank sheet of paper. Um, and uh, the other thing to do as well is make sure that nobody asks you for a deposit. If somebody says, I need X number of dollars up front in order to you know, move you, that's a that's a major red flag. So don't give them anything, and uh, make sure, like I said, that somebody comes to the house. That would be the most important thing. Awesome, okay. great tips. I appreciate it. If you have any questions, reach out to one of our team members at Peterson Partners.